Good evening, everyone. Today is 5-1-2013. Happy Rabbit Rabbit Day. Um, it's first day of the month, so it's always always a good day. Um, poor Izzy today. Um, she, well, not today. Actually, a couple days ago, she was uh, at a birthday party, and she was jumping on a tramp and uh, ended up hurting her leg, uh, pallet took her to the hospital, and uh, she ended up having a, a fracture on her tibia. So she's been wrapped up in a splint, and uh, she's getting a cast on. Um, I think tomorrow, so I'm, I feel so bad for her. I thought I thought I was skyping with her today, and she's she's just such a little champ. Though she's just on you know sitting down the table, just talking to me and hanging out. I can only imagine how how much different it is there um, than from here. But wow, it's just she, she's such a trooper, and her legs all wrapped up. Uh, yeah, she wants a pink cast, so it's gonna be exciting. I definitely feel for her though. I feel so bad for her that she has to go through that. So. Should be. I don't know. I love you, Izzy. You're gonna be amazing. So, <laughs> um, and then I made a tomato cucumber salad that uh, Kim suggested, and uh, I'm, I haven't eaten it yet. I'm letting it sit back there. Actually, but it looks pretty good. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, biometrics day three. So the day I woke up, I started with the hot house, which is like the infrared. I did two IVs this morning. One was uh, like the vitamin C. Well, so they first did the like uh, what is the hydrogen peroxide stuff that goes in and oxidates your blood and then they did the vitamin C drip which has the vitamin C and a bunch of other stuff for me and then I, the second one they did was I believe it was sodium bicarbonate um, don't quote me on that but it's supposed to alkal alkalize the blood and everything like that so that was pretty cool and then I did a foot bath there are pictures below it was kind of nasty and then the I think it's hyperbaric chamber not hyperbolic chamber <laughs> um, I kind of feel like I have a headache and a fever which is which is pretty I, I, I you know which is good because it's making my body's responding so it's you know warming up and everything like that so um, they're gonna start you know my little pack bands are starting to attack so it's really really nice um, I, and then I I had a kind of good thought I was uh, listening to uh, Greg Brannon and they do like feeling he, he, he look them up on YouTube do like Greg Brannon uh, you what is it cancer healing. Maybe I'll put a link in, but um, what it is is he does like feeling for healing. They filmed it on um, these Chinese guys out in Beijing or something like that. And so um, he said something really good. He said, it's not about bad cancer go away. It's about, and then I kind of adapted it from there. It's about seeing the healthy man that I am and feeling that emotion. So kind of like I was saying in another video, you know, it's with uh, kind of trying to program yourself is um, it's you know have the image of the word and then attach the feeling to it it's the same thing of having the image of what I want or who I am and then attaching that emotion and feeling through that emotion to get because our emotions are the most some of the most powerful things in the world you know our, our thoughts are amazing but until you tie the emotion behind it nothing gets accomplished it's the emotions that really drive you know anything you're doing so and when I, well, I, I kind of switch my thinking from bad cancer go away to it's, you know, I'm, I'm the healthy man and feeling that way and just being that way. One of my friends, Will, said it, said it really good words, be, do, have. So you be that and you do the things that you need to do to be that and then you will have whatever you want. So it's, yeah, it's really good. So if you guys can switch your minds that way too, it would be great. So and then I went to some store like uh, 45 minutes away from here up in... Uh, Blackfoot and got some apricot uh, pits. They have like B17, so I've been kind of chewing on those. They're super bitter, <laughs> but they're not too bad, so uh, I've been chewing on those as well. So pretty cool stuff. Good day, too. Um, you know, just kind of, it, it was, you know, I got there like 8.30, I got there like 2-ish. Um, just kind of like hung out, did, did it one right after another, so it was, it was pretty nice, you know, and, and I just took that drive, which was sweet. I got to see all the farmland. I hadn't seen that before. There's like fields and fields and fields and acres and acres and miles and miles of just like farm. So that was pretty cool. So, um, and then I got a couple of comments. So Black said, "Did you go into the hyperbaric chamber?" You said hyperbolic. Yes, hyperbaric. So <laughs> I just did a half dive at my school. It was very interesting how the air got hot as we dived down, and then I got acclimated to it. And it was also very cold when we came back up. Was this the same for you? Um, I don't believe so. Not with the hyperbaric chamber. It was pretty... Right. It was very interesting. I half that at my school. No, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what a half... Like, you say, like, 
jump into something that I don't know, talk, tell me what a half dive is, you say in the hyperbaric chamber? Or is it like getting down in the, oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, but no, it wasn't that way for me, it just kind of, it was just like pressurized, and it, I don't know, it wasn't, it wasn't like that, it just kind of made my ears pop like an airplane, but it was pretty, you know, they, they say it got pretty hot down there, or they, they, people get hot, but I had a blanket there and like old pillows, and then they had some cooling things, but I never used those, I felt fine, so, but I'm, I'm, I have, you know, like I'm tiny, so could have been hot. So. <laughs> and then, oh, I love you, kill him, Pac-Man. Thanks, sis. You're awesome. And then Justin said, wait, is that is that a wall phone? Even more creepy that it rang and no one's on the other line. <laughs> so is this auto treatment a one-time deal, or do you have to go for subsequent follow-up visits? Um, I believe I, I probably need to come back for subsequent visits. I haven't actually talked to the doctor yet. I've, I've, but as you guys know, being me, I just kind of went for it. Um, but I know I have to take the supplements. They say six months. It's kind of on the little sheet, a six-month thing. But I want to talk with him either tomorrow or Friday before I leave and just kind of say, okay, what's the plan from here? So, um, how long do they need to say take the supplements? Six months. So, did the person rubbing your feet mention how hairy your legs were? No, in fact, not. <laughs> she was actually a really, really cool lady. Um, her name is Cassia, K I S S. EA or something like that, and she's a really, really cool lady, so, um, yeah, other than that, you know, it's been a, been a fantastic day, I Skyped with Izzy, and I saw Kyle, and he's just, like, uh, looking at the computer all day, he's like, oh, Kyle, hey, so, it was really good, and then saw Power, good to talk to her, she's the most amazing woman in the world, like, I, I'm falling more and more in love with my wife every single day, like, she's, uh, she's taking care of both our kids while I'm up here doing this, and, and even with the broken leg and everything like that, she's still a champ and still, still rocking it, so. Baby, I love you. You keep us alive, so you're amazing. Uh, oh, and then lastly, I did get a metal, you know, magnetic bracelet, so it makes me Superman, so I can fly away. So I will be off to uh, save the world, and I'll ask you, you know, are you one step closer to where you want to be today, and to your goals, than you were yesterday, or 30 minutes ago, or an hour? I know I am, so yeah. <laughs> you guys are awesome. We'll talk to you all later. Peace.